So the plate for our top box is very loose and we can't put the top box on it properly anymore. Now we're just doing a little bit of DIY and just with the string trying to fix the top plate back on. So I'm just doing some basic knots. I fixed it on here already just to make it a little bit stronger. Let's see how long that lasts. It's a little bit less shaky than it was before. Uh, so that'll have to do for now. <laughs> Hi, I'm Lavi. And I'm Ollie. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 302 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. And we're here back in Argentina in the beautiful town of Purmamarca. Whee! Yes, we arrived here yesterday really late because there was a massive storm going on. It's three degrees right now and my visor is totally fogged up. Ah. Come on. We were really lucky to literally ride past this place here and they had a room available for us <laughs> at a reasonable price and it was getting dark it was still raining we were freezing cold so we were really happy to have a room for the night but the weather looks way better today have a look at this and have a look at these cliffs all around this this is an absolutely stunning region so let me show you guys where we're heading today so today first we're going to be returning back on the 52 a little bit to get some beautiful canyon views of this area before turning around and heading north through the Hohoi region through Tilcara, Huamanhuaca, Abra Pampa and over to this lagoon right here, Lagoon Pozuelos. Yes, we didn't really get to experience this canyon area yesterday too well because it was like really bad visibility. We were really stressed and tired. So today we're gonna to be riding back up to see some nice views here before heading back down and north towards our next goal, which is Bolivia. Woo! But first we have one final stop and one final stay here in Argentina before we leave. And that is gonna be Laguna Pozuelo, which hopefully we'll be able to see some flamingos in. Fingers crossed. Yes, it's already quite late. It's already 10.45 and we have a long way to go. So better hit the road, let's go. Awesome. The place we stayed in yesterday is, a, is actually traditionally built with like mud bricks from the local area, literally made out of like this rock here. And it had like a reed roof, which was like basically these reeds here. This village is really like locally made. I really like it. Yes, and now we will head back up to see what we missed out on yesterday while it's coming down without any views because this area here in the north of Argentina is very famous for the canyon and the rocks and just the landscapes in general so we're heading up now a little bit and then let's see what we can see oh yeah are these <laughs> canyon views or what <laughs> This is what we couldn't see yesterday. Can you believe it? Yeah, yesterday I was just terrified for my life. Yeah. <laughs> I could not enjoy a proper view at all. But wow, look at this. Look at the cracks in the earth. And it's just like, oh my God. It looks so incredible. I can't believe it. Really, I can't believe it. I just want to live here now. These are really like one million dollar views. And you've got, of course, the giant cactuses up on the cliffs here behind us incredible and the road is so windy as well it looks beautiful i yeah. think it's time to see what it looks like <laughs> from the air <laughs> let's get our brain eh? oh yes yes let's get out the brain <laughs>
look at that down there. Amazing. This was absolutely worth coming back for. Wow, look at it. I think really like this must be one of my favorite roads so far. Really, I just love Kenyans. And the red earth is so oh, beautiful. Very cool. Meow. And there we go, back down in Purmabarka. <laughs> what a nice excursion. Yeah, that was an absolutely stunning morning ride. What a way to start the day, hey? Yeah, epic. Let's climb to the top of the most beautiful canyon we've ever seen. <laughs> but up ahead, you can really see what this region is famous for. All the different multicolored mountains, which I think we'll be seeing a lot more of today. Yeah, you can see it here quite nicely. Yeah. Oh, it looks stunning. I have no idea how it ends up like this, but it's just crazy that you got like a red rock mountain next to like a brown and an orange and a black one over there. Ah, here's where we stayed last night. <laughs> <laughs> what a stunning location for a hostel, hey? Incredible. <laughs> can really see it nicely, the colors. Beautiful. Wow. Yeah, what a little mountain town, hey? Yeah, yeah, Amazing. stunding location. Look, there's a little local craft market. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Incredible place. There's like a dirt bike track here. And there's sort of a whole motocross event going on. Oh, cool. All these people watching from the road. Yes. <laughs> nice, should we join in? Let's do it! <laughs> Are you ready? Lunch break with epic mountain views! Yeah, we just stopped here in a small town called Temuco where they have our good friend YPF petrol station and look at the surroundings, it's insane! We've got multicolored mountains on that side, on this side, it's such a stunning area! Absolutely stunning, it's really really cool here! And we're having today for lunch some noodles! Woo! <laughs> you can't go wrong with a pack of instant noodles. Exactly. Because the best thing here in Argentina is that you can get hot water on every petrol station. So we just got a pot of hot water for our noodles and for some nice honey and lemon tea. Giving the chain a good oil as well today because it was a lot of miles in the rain yesterday and the chain definitely looks pretty dry and look at this chain spray it comes out white I think that's so that you can sort of see what you've done that's pretty cool hey this chain spray says adventure on it so it's the perfect chain spray for us <laughs> yeah I think that's good we just gave this guy a sticker and he put it on the back of his car that's awesome <laughs> can see it there yeah can you see it yes yeah <laughs> That's amazing! <laughs> awesome dude! <laughs> So we're just arriving in Huamahuaca and this is just another awesome town in this area that's surrounded by multicolored mountains. Let's take a look. Yes, and look there are some little llamas. Where? Over there. Oh yes. Oh look there's some pigs. Ah! Whoa. Pigs running around. So we'll just have a little bit of a ride into Huamahuaca, see what this town's all about. Biggest cactus in the history here. <laughs> yeah. And you can see a lot of the buildings here have this traditional red brick building. Centro. Okay, let's go into the center. Let's go check it out.
Oh yeah, some bumpy cobbled streets here in town. Always nice and charming, hey? Oh yeah. Nice town center here. So with some nice old buildings. Yeah, look at the charming streets here. So we're starting now to climb back up into the mountains and I think we climbed already another 500 meters or something like that. So it's time for us to put all our clothes on. <laughs> I have pretty much all my clothes on. My, my fleece, my down jacket, my motorbike jacket. I will put on my raincoat on top. <laughs> <laughs> Ready for the cold. So we're leaving the colorful mountains behind. So we saw on iOverlander that uh, the area we're heading into now, up at the lagoon, is quite high altitude, about 3,800 meters up. So we were a little bit smarter today than we were yesterday or the day before. And we've actually checked the forecast up in this area just to make sure that we're not heading into another storm, storm number three in a row. But the forecast looks pretty good. Uh, it doesn't seem to be raining until maybe 7 or 8 p.m. So as long as we make camp before four around seven we should be absolutely fine and then if it does rain in the night we'll be cozy in the tent cozy in our sleeping bags and tomorrow it'll be all over that's the plan we're trying to be a little bit more prepared today yeah because that was literally a torture yesterday <laughs> so we got about 30 miles more to head up now and then we'll be turning off towards the lagoon where we will hopefully see a lot of flamingos Fingers crossed. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Wow, look at this vista in front of us. They've got some crazy, crazy mountain rock formations ahead. I'd love to know the geology behind this, but it really looks like the whole mountain has been turned on its side and you can see all the different layers and all the different colors of rock. It looks like a painting. That's so beautiful. So incredibly beautiful. Wow. So despite the forecast, it actually looks like it's raining not far ahead, pretty much on the next hills over, probably less than a kilometer away, we've got rain. Not good, not good. Yeah, that's super annoying because we really thought that it wasn't coming until later. Yeah. And we really weren't mentally prepared to go into another rainstorm. Yeah. So that's super annoying, but yeah. uh, I'll have to put my rain gloves on and we'll have to unplug our audio for now and uh, see how we get on. All right, ready to take on the rain. Let's just hope it looks worse than it is. lagoon but this road is super corrugated and super bumpy so it's really limiting our speed so at the moment we can only do about 20-25 miles an hour so at this rate it's going to take us another hour and it's already past four o'clock so we might be getting a little bit tight for time Looks like we might have a little bit of mud ahead. So I don't know how this road's gonna go, but if the mud gets really bad, then I think we'll just turn around. Because we still have 18 miles to go, so it's not exactly around the corner. The 
road is looking much better now. You can get a little bit of speed, and that's beautiful. Hola, buenas. Hola. Es, es uh, abierto Laguna, ¿ok? Eh, no, close. Mañana de 8. Mañana 8. Bueno. Ok, gracias. Bye. ¿Es uh, posible, uh, posible ac acampar aquí? No. No, no aquí, ok. Gracias, gracias. Ok, we decided to plug our microphones in again because it hasn't rained in a little while. So hopefully they're working. <laughs> so we are gonna camp very, very close to here. We met a French couple back near San Pedro and they told us that they actually found a nice camping spot somewhere around this area. I think they said they crossed the bridge. Oh, look, there's some flamingos flying. Oh, beautiful. Oh, wow. Beautiful. So I think they said they crossed the bridge and then they turned off, so I guess here. Oh, 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 my goodness. Okay, that was a bit of gravel right there. Whew. Okay, of course it's not very wind protected, but uh, it'll have to do for tonight. Hopefully it won't rain any much more <laughs> because this road doesn't look very good. So it looks like it could get pretty muddy, hey? Yeah. How far do you think we have to go? I don't know. Should we go like... Yeah, should, mean, we, should we just go here? Yeah, no. it, looks, it looks like some nice grass. Yeah, nice and flat. And it's not fenced either, it's okay. just open, so... Yeah. Yeah, I would say I just turn here, that's fine. Should I pull you back a little bit? No, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so dirty. Through the bush. Yeah, I mean, this looks fine, eh? Yeah, okay, let's just be here. Perfect. It's just starting to rain, so we've really got to get set up now. We made it! Happy to live! <laughs> yeah, we're now hiding inside the tent. Uh, we've got the kitchen on this side. Woo! Levy's cooking us up. What are you cooking us up? So we have some chickpeas here, some soy protein, some tomato sauce with some curry powder, a little bit of chili. Very nice. My stove is ready. Amazing. And I've got my little studio here, loading on the footage from today. And um, yeah, we have to just hide in the tent because it's still raining and uh, we've got nowhere else to go. And we can hear a lot of thunder in the distance, so we are hoping that the storm is not coming over in our direction. <laughs> if it all goes well, tomorrow morning it'll be blue skies again and then we can visit the lagoon. Yes! <laughs> and we already saw some flamingos on the way in, so it's very promising that tomorrow we will see more flamingos. Yes! And also tomorrow we will do the border crossing into Bolivia. So Woo! tomorrow is going to be an awesome day. So that's it from us today. At the end we did 150 miles and we hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friend and family, comment below and we will see you next time.